Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica, um, where we have a floating coral, table coral. I wasn't sure what that was at first. Pretty sure it's a table coral. Um, there was a couple audio issues, but those should all be fixed. It was really easy. Just needed to adjust some audio settings. So hopefully that should be better Caution. for you guys. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. What? Okay, that was pretty epic timing. <laughs> so what did it say? That the Aurora's core was de degradate? I said it weird. Degrading? I wonder if that's going to be bad. Well, anyway, um, so we're going to start off today. As you can see, these things that say, like, damage secondary system, it says, like, use repair tool. Um, and then over here, this is one of the key things in the game. And this is also damage. So we need a repair tool. Uh, the repair tool requires some goodies. Nope, tools. Yeah, so we need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium, which titanium is everywhere, so who cares? about that. Silicone rubber though, we need creep vine seed clusters. And then uh, cave sulfur requires a little bit of exploration. So um, I checked on the last video, I, I counted the, the creatures that we've scanned and we have six out of 43, which does not sound like very many. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. So cave sulfur I do know where to get that and to be completely honest with you I don't really want to go and get it <laughs> new creature discovered. oh that's new Gary fish all right and the reason I don't want to go get it is because cave sulfur is in caves so number one it's already kind of scary number two it's guarded by something. So, that's a problem. You know, I would need a cave first. Oh, there's a cave. Oh boy. Oxygen. oxygen. Oh my goodness. That's what I really need is, a, is an oxygen tank. Man, I really want to get the repair tool because that radio system, I, I told you it was important. You get messages through it. Um, I don't know exactly who sends the messages. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> I jump. Swim faster. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the guys that guard it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I knew that was coming, but I didn't know where it was. And so it's... Yeah, cave sulfur. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Ah, sulfur thank you, computer. Essential component of the repair tool. What? <laughs> I just told them that, but you know, that's actually really helpful that it that it would say that. I'm worried that there's more, but there are resources in here. Copper. Oh, what? I haven't scanned that. These are good. Oh, I don't have very much oxygen. Oxygen. Dude, I need... <laughs> I need a better oxygen tank. I really do. Swim up, swim up, please! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Air! <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. You know what's kind of interesting about playing in VR is that, um, as I'm sure you may have noticed, you can kind of hear like the differences in like, you know, when I'm looking up, my like vocal cords are strained or however that works. And if I'm looking down, it's like squashed. It's kind of funny. Is that enough to make the, oh yeah, silicone rubber. Okay, so silicone rubber requires uh, creep vine seed clusters. So, uh, the the area that we were exploring before, where the stalker was. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. <laughs> Thanks, computer. I appreciate it. 
Um, the stalker, though, is near all those, like, that, like, kelp forest area. Uh, I don't recall which direction it was. This way, maybe? Dude, we swim so slow. Oh, man. Uh, it was in one of these directions. I shall find it. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh! oh my goodness! It was right next to my head. Oh boy, that scared! I don't even know where he came from. I have no idea. He was just. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I still haven't found the kelp forest. Might be in this direction though. Oh, found it! Boom! Look at that. I really wish I could swim faster. Um, but there's stalkers in here. So hopefully... Oh, there's one right over there. Oh my goodness, they blend in so well. And there's one right there. You're kidding me. Oh my goodness. And oxygen, sure, yeah. You know, this gastropod is kind of helpful because he's scared of the stalkers so when a stalker goes near him he gets all yeah he sends those little poison pockets Ooh, you know what yeah seven out of 43 oh my word they're so loud it's one thing watching it from 2d it's another thing to play it in 3d Oh, this is deep, man. You know... Okay, here's an idea. I bet you... If there's no stalkers... Oh my goodness. Okay, if there's no stalkers here, we can scan stuff... With our... Ready for it? Scanner. <laughs> See if we get any good, uh, good equipment. Ooh, I like this music. Ooh. One of two. Okay. Sea glide. What about this guy? Grav trap fragment. Okay, I know what this grav trap does. It's like, uh... It, it uses gravity to suck in, like, smaller creatures. Which is really good if you need food. Because you can just suck in all the little... The little goobers that are swimming around and eat them. So delicious. Is there another uh, seagull? Oh! That's a big guy. 30 seconds. And I need oxygen again. You know, when I get back, I should check if there's another. Um, uh, what's it called? Oxygen tank. Yeah. That would be really helpful. I think this is a big number. Oh, they're so fast. See, this is why I need to make the grab trap. Seek fluid see. intake. You seek fluid intake. Okay. I should probably seek fluid intake. Yeah, no. Oh, I thought that was sea glide. I guess it's a beacon. That's useful though. When we start exploring further out, Right now, though, dude, we're so slow. That's actually why I want the sea glide. Grab trap. The sea glide. Range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number, a number of small cave networks. A number of small cave networks. That should be interesting. <sighs> no, 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 no. Do you see how fast he went? Oh my goodness, I just found the creep vine clusters. Oh, he just wrecked that stalker. Dude, it's nighttime. I need those creep vine clusters. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. <laughs> Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Oh my word, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, swimming was my favorite activity. Totally intentional. 
did that on purpose. Okay. Alright, gotta watch everywhere. Make sure there's no stalkers. That's what I need. Right there. I think we're good. Go, 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 go. Scan, 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 scan. Oh, no. I pressed the wrong button. Oh! No. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, he was coming closer. Oh, no, he was just going to the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my pot is actually this way. Oxygen, fluid intake. That was weird. It, it just went night, but only for a really short while. I shall deem it fake night. All right, sweet. Got the, uh, ooh. <laughs> I always do this. It looks exactly like the creepvine seed clusters. And so I like always go to craft that, but you actually want this. The silicone rubber. And that way, we can get this repair tool. All right, so let's see if, uh, <laughs> something just connected, I guess. See if we get anything. Oh. oh. Yeah, see, it's worth it to do the repair tool. Okay, let's see if we get anything from the radio, too. Yeah! Okay. So that wasn't very exciting. I thought we were going to get something from that. That's okay, though, because we shall get stuff soon enough. So I noticed something popped up about geological... Yeah, here we go. Geological data. So we got an environment scan. No, may support Leviathan-class predators. I do not like the sound of that. What else do we got? Scattered wreckage. Oh, that's probably what we found before. Limestone. Yeah, okay, we already know that. Okay, so that just kind of gave us a little bit of uh, um, information about the planet, which is fine. So let's keep making tools here until we get a radio message. This survival knife. <laughs> I don't remember if I said it before, but were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. Yep. The knife remains the only exception. Yeah. See, that's the problem with this game. There's all kinds of terrible stuff. <laughs> but there's no weapons. <laughs> that's kind of what makes it fun cuz you you know, you have to survive more. You have to work around the predators rather than just defeat them all, you know, like a classic video game. Okay, what else is good? Ooh, this is good. Habitat builder. I like the sound of that. Flashlight would be nice. Oh! <gasps> High capacity. Wait, do we have any air tank? Okay, we have the standard O2 one. Makes sense. This is what we need. So standard O2 tank, two glass, four titanium, and one silver. Ah, oh, garbage. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know where to get silver, but it is not a good place. Okay, so we can make a battery. We can get the uh, flashlight, potentially. Um, we can make glass. Oh. Man, I need more resources. Okay, I'll make the flashlight and I'll go get some more resources and we'll see what we can do. Oh boy. This is gonna have stuff in it. <laughs> oh, I should have put my knife in the hot bar. Oh, okay, there's a crash fish over there. Oh, I need oxygen, are you kidding me? Oxygen.
No! Ah, uh, garbage. <laughs> Man. Ah, first death. <gasps> sea glide! Oh, this is the solution to all our problems. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Oh, we can swim so fast with this. Or we will be able to, anyway. Deployables. Sea glide! Lubricant, battery, and copper wire. Got the lubricant. <laughs> Don't have to go back to the stalkers. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. All right. Thank you, computer. What are we missing for the battery? Everything. Okay. And it's getting night because, of course, it's getting night. Okay. Got some acid mushrooms. Oh yeah, here's my belongings. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Uh oh. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Two hours? I wonder how much that is in in-game time. I wonder if it's like leaking or something. No, it looks pretty much the same. Okay. Battery. And. Yeah, Sea Glide. Oh my goodness, we're making so much stuff. Ooh, that looks cool. We'll increase your effective exploration range. Yeah. Please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers <laughs> of the nearest life pod or habitat. Look at how fast. Dude, we can outrun anything. Yeah. This is what I needed. Oh boy. Pretty sure there's crash fish in here. I think sandstone. Yes. Based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Oh, we got another radio message. Hang on, let's make the really good oxygen tank. Okay. So we just need to unequip this. Can Oh, I wonder if I don't have enough space. Hang on. Let's see, we'll put these away. Oh, I forgot we had a creature egg. Oh, that'll be fun to try out. Eventually. Right. Okay. Got that. And... Yes! I want to see how much oxygen this thing has. 90 seconds. Oh, look at how much. 135. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, okay, let's check out the uh, radio message. I want to see... Land recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the f***, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Oh. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Wait, signal location uploaded? Hey, we did it. We got we got a beacon thing. Okay, we should probably pursue that next episode. But let's play this other radio message. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Rendezvous. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we got two. All right, all right. 
Nice. Do we need any more tools before we get ready to go? <sighs> oh, we need that. All right. I'm gonna make the fins, and I think we might be able to explore one of these before the episode's over, actually. That would be fun, I think. Oh, whoa. Cut creep vine with knife. Wait, I should scan it first though, right? <laughs> Doesn't quite line up. Oh. How much space do I have? I have a little bit. Okay. In and out, in and out, in and out. No, 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 no. I missed it. I missed it. I heard I heard a stalker behind me. Oh. Boy. Okay, he's distracted. Sort of. This is a bad idea. Let's go over here, mate. Nope, there's one over there too. I'm a, I do have enough space, right? One, two, three, four. Eat these. Okay, I should have enough space for two. Oh no. oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! There's another one! There's another one! Right there! <laughs> Is he still chasing? <laughs> okay, I think we only needed one. Oh boy. Some fiber mesh, silicon rubber, fins. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Grab trap, yes. Oh, there it is. Life pod three. Right in the middle of stalker land. Oh my goodness. Why? And it's night, you're kidding me. Okay, okay. Go down, go down. Be quick. Life pod three crew, crew log, and it's lagging. And data box. Compass, it said. Oh, that's good. Now let's leave. I don't see a stalker. Oh my goodness. Oh, the light's just coming from there. Okay, I thought we missed something. You know... Ooh, what's this? Is this beacon? No. Of course not. Okay, so I'm making it back from there. It's really quite close. It's just in, whoops, not that one. It's just in the middle of, oh, I think it's that way, in the middle of the kelp forest, which is terrible. So I just race back here and we can read, oh, listen. To the you life really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Well, we got a recipe for a compass out of the deal. Seek fluid intake. So... We'll be able to tell directions, and that's going to be important because... Um, in some of these, I don't know if we have any yet, but it, it would probably be in like a geological data. It would give us like a location and then tell us about what. Emergency. 
Oh. The quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive. Oh no, 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 no. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8. Dude, seven, I'm watching this and beyond, I'm scared. 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my word. Uh-oh. Okay, I should probably go inside. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. I think I should make that. Uh, but that's going to have to be next episode. I, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this uh, another episode of Subnautica. It's definitely a very cool game. And I will see you next time. Later.